Okay, this is a very quick tutorial on some quick and dirty compositing tricks that use uh, the depth of field render as it's taken from luminance depth. You can see right here we've imported two pieces of footage. Um, one is our depth map where you can see the lighter area or the objects closer to the camera and the darker is further and then we've got our beauty pass so these two are rendered out in the same file first thing we want to do is create a composition uh, both of these by the way are 1280 by 720 but of course you can do this at any resolution let's make a new composition for the sequence let's uh, name it according to our uh, porting practices. Okay, it's the right length. I'm also going to create another one called fog that's the same length. Okay, and we checked our length here against this one. Okay, for the fog we're going to do something very uh, simple. Let's go ahead and, and create a solid. And we want to pick a gray or uh, off green or off blue for our solid. This is going to be fog. The next thing we'll do is we'll bring down our fake depth pass and our blending mode on that will assign to uh, Silhouette Luma. Now of course this isn't going to work as fog, it's going to completely wipe out our background, right? So what we do with it is a little differently. Let's go over to this original composition and let's add our beauty. Okay, and then let's add our um, fog pass to it. Of course, we don't want that effect in the sky, and there's a couple things we can do here with this. Now, with this depth fog that we've rendered out in post, we can dial it in and out with the opacity to go for the look that we want. Uh, of course, if the camera is still, we've still got all of our. Um, we still have all of our options for masking so let's just put a little bit of a mask on the top of this and feather it out make it a subtract mask and now we've got something in this shot um, that we can keep a little bit of clarity on our sky okay so this is with and without so it, we can use it to control um, some of our you know, fake fog. Um, you can also use this as a mask for other adjustment effects like um, brightness and contrast and everything else like that. So what you can do is take the beauty pass, effect it the way you want, and then apply the um, depth uh, layer as a mask to that. So you can then dial in or out that effect based on um, the same method we're using here with the fog, except it's using original beauty layer information with an effect applied to it. We can do more of that later. For now though, let's also, since we have the depth, we want one of the benefits of course is we can do some nice looking focal blur. So let's bring in a the straight copy of the depth pass, hide it, go to layer, adjustment layer, and now what we want to do in this adjustment layer is apply the Frisch Luft depth of field by default, it doesn't know where to pull the data, so it's going to get blurry. It's taking a minute here. Okay. So, let's bring this in so we can see it a bit better here. Now, that's just because we need to assign the depth layer to the one that we hid, which is this one. Again, this will take a minute to update. Um, okay. Not too horrible. It's, not, it's a little bit extreme for what we want. So, what I like to do is show sharp zone turn this down to about four or two for most cameras and then dial down this um, focal point this will show you the area that's supposed to be in focus so I'm gonna bring it in so we've got the fish in focus and maybe we'll turn this down to three when we're done with this turn that back to normal blur and we get something that looks pretty nice. Finally on this adjustment layer I'm going to add one more effect. It's just a very slight 2D motion blur. Turn this down to about 0.3. This is real smart 3 standard or pro. And what we get here 
if we zoom into this, you know, it's it's better depth of field than you're going to get if you render out a re regular depth pass in Maya because it's aliased. So there's our first sequence and that's just a real quick rundown on the ways to use the depth of field uh, pass the lum or the luminance depth hack for depth of field.